cool. This is a. I borrowed a, a digital stills camera from a from a friend, trying out the Sony um, HX one hundred V, and it's uh, compared to the Scam Cam, it's pretty sweet. So that's the uh, the trace from the data logger. See, that's where the, the the big one went along here, and there's where the little one went and then held. Turned the pressure washer off here, it crept down, and then suddenly. But yeah, if anyone thinks I should buy this camera, let us know. It's got fairly good macro functions. It takes a little while to focus. Uh, it's actually come in from a distance. You can get in quite close to uh, get decent shots of stuff. Obviously, uh, I expect you can hear the sounds quite a lot better. Um, interesting. You can get close ups of. Stuff that just wouldn't have been possible with the scam cam. I'm sure, I can probably play with it and uh, figure it out better. The um, the files are pretty huge though. This is shooting in the weird um, the Sony uh, file format. Um, uh, 50 frames a second. I'm not sure. Like my voice, I'm I'm hearing quite a lot of um, <laughs> kind of stuff. I would maybe want to hack an external mic and have it have a little lapel mic or something that uh, has the, the mic right on top. If I'm jabbering on, it probably picks up a lot of the stuff that I don't want to hear. Mm, there's a shot of the, uh, the stepper motor connections. Um, so pretty much they're just in a line. That one goes uh, yellow, red, black, orange. And that one is blue, orange green, grey. So yeah, just in a, in a line here. A line on here is the same as a line on the stepper. Um, for all of them. Um, so the yellow one, D-shape, uh, what do you call that? One inch something or other connector. And the yellow bit is at the top. So I think they're all they're all mother they're all the same for all the steppers. You can get quite a lot better uh, shots and this is me just uh, holding it in my hand without a tripod. We can zoom in a little bit as well. Focus. Focus. Hello. Yeah, let us know what you think. Should I get one of these cameras, or can anyone recommend a better one for um, video blogging? I need something obviously that will do macros, that will pick up my voice and um, get general shots. I'm not sure about putting this uh, into the uh, test chamber, but I was noticing the other day the test chamber shots are a bit, they're a bit ropey, but I think that's maybe because the, um, uh, the acrylic's a bit cloudy. Just because the scam cam's not brilliant. Uh, right, let us know. Cool. Thought I would do a <laughs> dry macro shot. It seems to autofocus quite a lot quicker with more light. So we'll let it off. Um, and this is the um, this is the one that was spraying, I think the end cap that was spraying. It had the broken bit on top. Um, I think maybe this this uh, line here was a uh, was a feature in the original print, like it maybe ran all the way through, it was like a flaw where uh, Z had kind of jiggled or something when it was printing out this layer and it created a flaw in this line or thermal contraction because it's this is also where it starts being a big thick layer that runs the full the full width of that print there. And I still don't understand how it was spraying though because it was doing just a small Looked like it was doing just a small section about about there, which is maybe an inch from the print. That was springless. It could have been, if it was a really focused jet, it could have been spraying across the way. But I would have expected if it was spraying from four inches away to be a larger splatter area on the spray. Um, so I'm, the only thing I can think of is it's it's come come through that line there. And then it's kind of worked its way into that this reinforcing ring here. Come out the back and through the print. 
and then spread out somehow or yeah I don't know it's a bit weird that one I'm assuming it's just because there was a flaw in it originally there's also a flaw in this one I just done of I put um, an, uh, an extra two fixing holes and changed the, uh, uh, the, the the tie straps I had to tie straps to hold the, the caps together and the print's pretty good you can see the lines there Apart from there's a, there's a flaw on the bottom of this one, it looked like it was over extruding uh, at one side, you can see it, it's all blobby, blobby and horrid, and there's quite a lot of shrinkage, you can see why I've had to scale it, um, because this section over here that, that um, covers the o-ring is, there's only about 3mm wall thickness, so the whole lot's shrunk in a bit, that's why I need to scale it out, because that's, that's critical dimension. Um, but yeah, again, this is this is where that solid lip is, the lip that holds the o-ring in, and that corresponds with a, a flaw in the print. I'm not entirely sure why. But yeah, that's why I'm thinking macros is good. I can I can spraff on about ideas and have people get a decent look of what I'm seeing, ask for feedback. Cool.